We all live in a watershed. Somewhere. Someplace. This is a story of how a sense of connection to place transformed a community, beginning with the children, beginning with a question. In 1992, I was teaching fourth grade, and I showed a video on endangered species and watched my students sink lower and lower in their seats until it was done. And then one boy raised his hand and he said, Mrs. Rogers, what can we do to help endangered species? It seemed like somebody's got to do something about it. What good is talking about something if you're not going to try and help? And that's when I looked at him and I knew I couldn't say, you know, let's write letters or let's do a study, that we really needed to do something big. Mom, Dad. Wow, that is cool. The kids can take a turn with the hoe, too. Okay, loosen the roots a little. All right. In a sense, this is about nature restoration. But I think in the larger sense, this is about human restoration. One, two, three, push. Good. As far as I'm concerned, if I'm not teaching this way, then I don't really uh, care to be teaching. It just makes the earth and myself a better person and a better place. There we go, the landscape is healthier because of the work the Straw Project does. People will ask me, did you know how big it was going to get? And I have to tell you, yeah, I did. I didn't sleep for two weeks after that day. So you want one tool in the hole at a time, right, guys? Who would guess that a fourth grader's innocent question would galvanize a community, empower children, inspire teachers, and help restore a watershed? All in an effort to save an obscure, endangered species. <laughs> 